What is up guys, Skitty Fishing here, and today I'm gonna show you how I fish the Lower Provo River with a spinning rod. Yeah, let's do it. you're gonna need is an ultra light or a light action rod um, with a fast action sorry a ultra light rod with a fast action and I'm gonna throw a small reel on it with some two pound test line um, fear not you're gonna land the fish even the big ones just make sure you've got your drag set to compensate for the big pulls and then you just need a small lure they're gonna be able to cast the thing is I need to be able to cast to the other side of the bank because the first few seconds after the cast is probably the, when you're likely going to catch them. A lot of fish mistaken the lure as uh, like a bug or, you know, maybe like a bait fish or something. So as soon as it hits the water, it might trigger them to, to strike. And so you kind of have to have the line to get you out there to the other side. So like this, just hit the other bank and then I'm just going to do a slow retrieval all the way back and you almost kind of want the river to do most of the work for you um, and when I say that I'm talking about spinning the blade uh, I'm reeling just slow enough to keep the slack on my line obviously I want to bring it in but I want the river to pull my lure and do the spinning for me got one A little brownie. He's working the current ahead of me. Yes. Oh yeah, right where you want it to. Look at that. Boom. Gorgeous brown trout quick catch and release i know that in rivers fishing in general you know definitely want to let go of that fish as soon as possible so there he goes so been working a big chunk of this river um one thing that i'll note is whenever i release a fish i never release it ahead of where i'm catching see if i'm walking the stretch down here I want to release it from behind me, right? Because I probably already spooked a bunch of stuff back here. So just food for thought. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you know, sometimes when you finally catch that fish, the hype kind of gets to you and you forget the little things. So, but yay, we caught a fish. Oh my gosh, we got another one. Oh, this one's bigger. Oh, I don't even, he might be foul hooked. I can't tell. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Okay. We're getting more active now. Right backwards. There he goes. Nice, cool. All right, well. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button below. We are almost 250 subscribers. That's the next goal right now. So, um, you know, keep in mind on this video, it's just kind of the way that I like to fish spinning rods on the Provo. It's not how to, so everybody kind of has a different opinion, but honestly, the smaller, the better. That's the way I, I think of it. So um, small lures, small spinners, ultralight. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, a couple trout, better than I expected. I actually didn't really plan on coming down here today. Um, it's 
spring break, the kids were sleeping in and just figured I'd go out for a day. So um, there is a lot of construction in the canyon right now. So it's a little louder than usual. So, I mean, Provo River, if you fished it before, you're familiar that there's a big highway right next to it. But anyway, it's beautiful up here as always. Appreciate you guys and tight lines.